Hello, and welcome to the Salt Mine World Finals Final. I am your host, Brian. As I said, it's the final. No dodgy numbers in the title, just what we have been working towards for a very long time. We made it. Before we begin the series, let me say thank you to our sponsor, GIF Your Game. They want you to enter their goal of the year contest, submit as many gifts as you want to try and win your share of $25,000. Flakes has made it into the final, which is maybe unexpected from the EU fourth seed, but he has been outclassing his opponents and earned his place. Can he earn the title? Oh Khalid is a less surprising finalist to say the least. Still undefeated since he started in qualifiers, he looks to be beyond challenge. But can he surpass one more hurdle? Since it's Christmas, I got you all a gift. I arranged a very special caster to take this final series. Here's Johnny. Would you look at that? It's Octane Flakes in the grand final. Has this entire tournament been bait? Has he been sneaking through in cars that he's been pretending to main? just to bring out the big guns when it matters most. He's already 1-0 up against Ocala, a player who beat him in league play of this very tournament, the EU portion of it. Khaled beat everybody back then. He was, in many ways, a more aggressive and a more impressive overall version of Flakes in their previous matchup. Both of them trying to play the safe strategy, never taking themselves out of the game, never risking too much, but Flakes is really stepping up here. And what a flick that is. I mean, you're not going to get much better than that. Khaled's got a ridiculous save rate on this kind of shot. But Flakes, when it matters most, like I've already said, is playing his absolute best, just like he did in the quarterfinals and the semifinals up until this point. He's looked like the real deal. He's looked like his previous self that we saw earlier in the year dominating the entire competition that he had in Europe time and time again can he do it one more time against the player who most recently has been dominating well if he can match Khaled in offense I think he already does defensively both players have been just about equals in defensive success and that's an unreal save by Flakes he got knocked here by Ocala into his own goal, but he uses his dodge to cancel it out and keep the ball out of his net. Still a clean sheet over a minute into the game. Khaled is struggling. He can't get the ball past Flakes right now. Flakes is looking threatening. With every offensive play, Khaled is having to work. He's having to think as hard as he can to figure out what Flakes has got planned, but that's brilliant reaction time by Khaled. He just leans back away from the 50-50, something that Flakes has been specializing in recently as well. I know these two do practice quite a lot together. They play a lot of 2v2. They're going to know each other's games inside out at this point. But who's been learning more about the other player while they game together? But right now, it looks like it might be Flakes. He's definitely one of the most analytical players in the scene right now. Khaled just trying always to play the correct way in every decision but Flakes is doing that and also going to the next level he's very specific to his opponent trying to counter what they're doing and trying to counter their play style in particular and I'll tell you what so far his aggression has been on point if he can stay in Khaled's half of the field like he currently is for large extended portions of the game Khaled is going to struggle to get rid of the ball and it's 3-0 to Flakes just over halftime and I don't think either parts of that scoreline would have made sense to people if you told them to guess what's game one of Flakes versus Khaled going to end up being. I don't think they'd expect Khaled to be scoreless and Flakes to be winning, but that's exactly what's happening. Well, not for long, because Khaled is on the board. Kickoff. Very friendly to him here. That's his way back into the game. But we can't doubt to Khaled as well. He's come back from behind in several series and looked impressive while doing so. For all of Flake's competitive experience and all the advantages that he has by being under pressure and being used to this kind of pressure a lot more than Khaled is. You know, Khaled really hasn't shown any signs of crumbling under it in the past. He's stepped up to every challenge so far and 
he has dominated in them. He's excelled. He's only down by two goals here. Look at the bravery of Flakes just standing in the way of Khaled, who's walking up to him there, waiting for Flakes to jump. And there's going to be a lot of that this game. Just players hoping the other one jumps out the way of them. Khaled again just looking at Flakes, asking, will you, will you please jump out of the way? Because I would love to just get a goal for free underneath you. Flakes unlikely to do that. But now actually Khaled is back within one and he's not had to do anything too crazy to get these goals. Just putting in a very solid challenge in reverse and then turning around quickly. Flakes was gone. Not a good recovery by him. Looks like he may have bounced off the ball and landed deep into Khaled's half. He does still have a one goal lead. Khaled sends a free shot off target. Had to move into position quickly for that one. He's trying to hide behind the ball as Flakes moves it around. Khaled constantly trying to disguise his approach by getting behind it. Big challenge by Khaled. Flakes tries to keep the touch light. And now he's flicked it top corner. But the first touch here is what made this possible. This is so well executed by Flakes after he realized Khaled was not actually challenging here. He decided to play the ball slowly. And that gave him a chance to make another touch on it before Khaled could get there. One minute left. Two goal lead for Flakes. He can hold on to this. He's going to be filled with confidence going further into the series. But can he keep this one out? No, he can't. Flakes avoided the bump. But he didn't get enough on the save. Khaled's back within one again. Still looking threatening. And you can guarantee that in the last minute of a game like this where Khaled's losing, he is going to step up the aggression. He's going to get in Flakes' face. And he's going to make him work for this win. Khaled's got the perfect first touch. And again, so solid on the dribble. Just like he has been all year. He just didn't give Flakes any chance to challenge him. If you look at that dribble and you paused every frame along the way, Khaled's closer to the ball than Flakes is for the entire duration. If Flakes made a move, Khaled would have popped it over him. Flakes knew that, decided, well, I better go because if I wait any longer, Khaled's just going to smash this one on target. But there was no opening. Khaled with the perfect spacing and he's closed the gap that Flakes had earlier on. Oh, that's a testing shot by Flakes though that's gone in. And it's the second time this game that he's succeeded by just sticking the ball right over Khaled's head. Khaled trying to pop it into his own crossbar. Accidentally lets it go past him. That's got to be the nerves getting to him. His timing for these saves is usually on point. And he's got a chance to remedy the situation here. Shoots near post. Flakes gets there. Keeps it out. Lands on the 100 pad in the corner. And away he goes. Down the other side of the field. Flakes marches forward for a two-goal lead. And he's just excelled where Khaled could not at the end of the game here. Both players had shots to the top corner of the goal that were quick, that were threatening. Khaled let Flakes th through and Flakes did not return the favor. That's going to be game one. Surely, Khaled's only got two seconds left. He does score one goal. But you really don't expect Flakes to give him another one. It has to be a direct kickoff goal or a zero second play. Flakes slowing down the approach, forces Khaled into the ground. And it's well played by Flakes at the end, securing the game one win. Flakes didn't do a gauntlet run this year, but maybe he's doing a finals run instead. He takes the first win in this series, but needs three more to take down O'Khaled. But, a one game lead over O'Khaled is not a big one. Last year, Flakes made a gauntlet run in the EU Ones League that was the Manfield Knight 5K. This year, he's going even further. To think what happened after his 1v1 success at the start of 2019, going all the way into RLCS and multiple high placings at lands. Just wonder what Flakes has in store next. There's definitely incredible potential for him. Speaking of potential, you really do wonder what is possible from not just Khaled, but the entire Middle Eastern scene. These guys are the real deal. They're showing up on the away servers and competing with the best players in the world. 1-0 for Khaled right at the start of the game. 
He is seeing a lot of success with these air dribble bumps. He really troubled Flakes with one of them early on in game one. And it was a brilliant save by Flakes that prevented it. But it still looked awkward enough that I think it's worth Kali to continue going for these. Because it didn't look comfortable at all. It was an exceptional save by Flakes, but Kali can keep applying that pressure. Eventually, even exceptional goalkeepers are going to concede every once in a while. That's a great dunk by Khaled. He's got that one on target already. He just knew exactly where Flakes was hitting the ball. And suddenly, we're starting to see why this guy's been dominating all year long. It doesn't take him long to put in goals in quick succession. He's just probably got the mechanical advantage in this matchup. I'd say that Flakes has a slight edge in the 1v1 IQ department. But Khaled definitely let a few saves slip last game that you'd otherwise expect him to be keeping out of his net. In the past, he's been so solid in that regard. And his offense as well was not as threatening as we're used to seeing. Flakes, meanwhile, was popping off. He was hitting shots top corner. And what a time to do it as well. You really didn't expect that in this matchup. You think Khaled, surely with his mechanics, will have the offensive advantage. There is Flakes, though, getting an outplay off the ball, sealing that boost, and this is really how he got the semi-final win against Lethemir in order to make it into this match. Just kept on winning that boost battle over and over again. As time would go by, Flakes' boost would, in would increase and Lethemir's would decrease. He's trying to do that to O'Khaled right now, and it looks like it is working. Flakes gets some nice timing on the shot as well. As soon as Khaled turns around to leave the net open, Flakes sticks it over to him. And that's a clear illustration of what Flakes is trying to do today. He's looking to outplay Khaled for extended periods of time. But the problem for Flakes is that he needs to play perfectly for about 30 seconds to a minute in order for these goals to come. He has to work his way around the field, gaining minuscule advantages as he goes, and then eventually he can get the goal. Whereas Khaled, it seems like he just has to play perfectly for two seconds and he's got the goal. The rest of his gameplay is just automatic perfection with his incredible mechanical ability. Safely knocking the ball into his back corner. Flakes will get there first, and he's a nice pass to himself off the ceiling here. Flakes back within one goal. And that really didn't take too long for Flakes to get a goal. Talking about the extended periods of gameplay where not too much is happening. That's favoring Flakes, but that's not the only way that he can get goals. If he can surprise Khaled at any turn, might be able to get goals earlier, but Khaled's done the same thing. Both players showing two very different ways to play the offensive corner here. Flakes popped the ball off the ceiling, drove along the ground to put it in. Khaled pops it off the ceiling and then goes via the ceiling himself as well. Definitely the faster route for him. And even though it might be predictable, it's so hard to stop. He's just too quick into position. He's too good with his final touch. Just so consistent with how he pressures the ball. You know, this is possibly the second coming of Fairy Peak who was able to dominate his opponents by challenging the ball earlier than anybody else in the scene, but not looking like you're ball chasing while doing it. That's what Khaled does. He just pressures his opponent as early as he can. He gets 50-50s and challenges on the ball at his earliest convenience. But none of these challenges look like ball chasing. They don't just look like he's going for it for the sake of going for it. No, he's seeing small chances, maybe small missed touches and slight misplays from his opponents and thinking, yep, I can beat them to that ball. And most of the time, he's right. He can because he's Khaled and his opponents are not. But that's a brilliant flick by Flakes. Nice shot, says Khaled. And he's not wrong. You can't give Flakes this much space and expect to defend an easy shot. Flakes with perfect placement, and more than that, in the power department, to get back within three goals. That is a kickoff win for Flakes. He brings it down, McCallid's right there in his face, trying to get in the way as early as possible. For the second time in a row, he's backed off and given Flakes the ball for free. Flakes not giving Khaled too much to think about on this offensive play. Already Khaled looking to run down the clock here. He's trying to bait Flakes in, and he has done so. Flakes flips past the ball. He obviously knew what Khaled was trying to do there. He could tell that Khaled was going to just keep the ball in the corner. 
and let the clock do the work for him. And that triggered a sense of urgency in Flakes that ended up taking himself out of the game. Now Khaled's ahead by four. It's a comfortable lead in the final minute for the Middle Eastern player. He might be about to extend it. With his power shots, you never have any doubt that he's going to bang it in from this range. Flakes too far away from the ball. He just didn't have the time to run all the way into the corner boost there. Obviously, he wants the 100 boost. He wants to be the player with the boost advantage at all times. But Khaled has been too good in the final minute here. Too good all game. Absolutely smashing shots on target from all angles. And he's not had those blips in defense like he did in game one. The two saves that I do recall, or the two goals, I should say, for Flakes that I recall. Just bouncing straight over Khaled. Off the bar and into the goal. Now, there were good shots by Flakes, but they're the exact kind of shots that you'd expect Khaled to just barely knock it to his crossbar. That's what he's known for. Flip reset for Khaled at the near post. Trying to get a 10-goal game against Flakes, one of the best defenders in the game. Just known worldwide for his defensive capabilities. Flakes might be going for a double demo here. I'm not sure what he's got planned. It's going to be an own goal, actually. He will give Khaled the 10 goal game. Ultimate mind game here from Flakes. For a second, I thought he was going to go for the double demo play. Instead, he thinks, you know what? You deserve 10 goals. You played good in this game. You've done well. Flakes very often does have praise for his opposition. And certainly, he has a lot of praise for Khaled. He loves the way that he plays. And always when they're playing together has good words to say about him Flakes still in this series is 1-1 after two games at least three more to go maybe five if we're lucky thank you give your game for sponsoring the salt mine finals click the links in the description to find out more about their $25,000 goal of the year contest oh Khaled with a scoreline that makes a statement there the pressure definitely is back on Flakes Interestingly, in between the last game and this one, Flakes revealed his strategy, why he did score that own goal at the end of the game. His reason for it was that he wanted to test more kickoffs. And you know, he did struggle in the kickoff game against Khaled there in game two. It's not a terrible idea just to put the ball in his own net to get another one, just to see, okay, hold on, is this gonna work? Is this slightly different approach or different strategy that I've got in mind? going to work out against Khaled who seems to be dominating right now in the kickoff. And there you have it. Flakes always one step ahead. Always thinking with the big brain plays. Khaled's got the big brain mechanics and it's not often attributed to high IQ play but that's really what it is. These guys have got the ability to automatically learn all these mechanical abilities so much faster than your average player they put in the same time or more in many cases and get ridiculously good at the game because with every passing moment they're getting better at reading the ball they're getting better at hitting the ball they're getting better at reading their opponents it's just so easy for players at this level at times it becomes a battle of work ethic and these two have a lot of it they put a lot of time into the game and Khaled definitely seeing fruits for his labour right now the open to scoring in game three. Very interesting to see what Khaled is capable of doing. I mean, this guy has to play on an away server all the time just to get proper matches that challenge him and get him to learn and improve. And he's doing all this while still being in school and taking that very seriously as well. Right after this tournament, he's going to be off for his end of year finals. Got to keep the real life priority high as well as the in Rocket League priority that balance very important to this guy and he seems to have it right for the most part and Flakes is having to work as hard as he can to stay toe to toe with him and that's where they are right now and let's see if the kickoff practice that Flakes got in he's done him any work it doesn't seem to have done too well for him here because Khaled is marching forward again he's got 100 boost to Flakes is zero He's very patiently waiting for the opportunity to present itself. Again, just perfect spacing, but that's an unreal save by Flakes. And that was the difference in game one. Flakes was able to save those crazy shots that Khaled was smashing towards the top corner. And 
Khaled was not able to save flake shots that were similar power, similar placement. Such a low scoring game now after Khaled scored nine goals and then was gifted in 10th by flakes in the last game. He's been quieter here in game number three, but he still has the advantage. Flakes getting a bit out of position in the midfield. He has to turn around and watch the ball going on his own goal once again. Here's a kickoff win for Flakes, at least briefly before Khaled decided to stay on it. Flakes has got some space to work with here. On the right-hand side of the field, Khaled doesn't get the boost seal, but he's definitely causing problems for Flakes in the back corner there. Not giving him an easy turnaround, not giving him any, any easy possession plays. And that's how you do it. Khaled managing to level out the boost advantage that Flakes had established and then take the ball for himself as well. Flakes is still in control of this play as a whole. And he's completely faked Khaled off this one. Khaled knows that Flakes loves to go for those flicks after air rolling backwards like that. But Flakes decided this time it was not going to work out. He was too far behind the ball, not under it. And the flick was likely to just trickle slowly towards the net. So instead he's opted to land and shoot the ball. It looks like it was a much better plan overall. Really well executed by Flakes after, I think, messing up his takeoff initially. It's a good recovery. Alex able to get out wide again. He's getting into this position too easily. It's worrying for Flakes that Khaled is crossing him over like this so effortlessly. Flakes has survived this onslaught and now both players are just trying not to get baited into a 50-50 as the ball rolls diagonally across the field. Exceptionally low scoring game here, but Khaled has a small opening. He tries to go for the bumping play, but he won't need it. Simply by driving close to Flakes here, he forced Flakes to stay wide. The only way that Flakes was going to get back and save that is if he made a direct line for where the ball was headed and he couldn't get there. Khaled's shot was just too hard. Just over a minute left. Khaled establishes a lead for himself, but it's not going to last long. Flakes ties us up with a perfectly timed flick and a finish from close range. And now the game is wide open again. It looks like all this kickoff practice is doing something for Flakes, but still he's struggling time to time. And Khaled will take these all day long. He doesn't mind how he's getting the goals as long as they're coming. A minute left in the game. Flakes down by one again. He's gone way off to the side here on this kickoff. Not sure if that was an attempt to block Khaled, who has been going for that side more often than not. But it didn't work out. Khaled comes forward and he gets a two-goal lead with 46 seconds left in the clock. Nice shot, says Flakes. And of course, he's referring to that shot there. It wasn't the one that put the ball into the net, but it was the one that Got it past Flakes, who was challenging at the near post, thinking he'd had all angles covered. Another kickoff win for Khaled. Might be enough to secure the game. Again, Flakes completely on the back foot here. He does come away with the ball. And it's his own classic turtle catch flick combo. Khaled has kept that one out, and with only 20 seconds left, Flakes still needs to... Don't know if he's going to get many opportunities from here. Khaled is right there with him. And he's playing the possession game perfectly as usual. He's kept it away from Flakes for a long enough time. And now there's no way for Flakes to come back. I reckon even if he shot this, the ball would be crossing the line on zero seconds. He's going to go for the consolation goal anyway. But that's all it's going to be for Flakes. Because Khaled's two goal lead was too strong in the final minute. And we head to game four with Khaled leading by one. It gets even more difficult for Flakes. Oh, Khaled takes the lead with two games in a row going his way. Flakes has a win already though, so more can go his way. But now is the time to win a game before letting Oh Khaled reach match point. Two game wins in a row for the undefeated king of 1v1. Uh, if Khaled's a king, then Flakes must be the prince because he's trying to succeed him today. Uh, Khaled takes the lead in game 
Number four as well. And it's that same strategy again. He just throws it in there whenever Flakes gives him space to start the aerial play. And although Flakes' strategy is something that often works against the air dribble bump, it's not likely to do so against such a fast one. Khaled was flying in there. Even if Flakes did get in the way of him, it probably would have been death for him. Khaled challenging Flakes early as usual. Flakes gets a very clever demo there. Khaled didn't see that one coming. But he hasn't got much to work with on the counter-attack. A bit too direct for Flakes there. He has to wait for another angle to present itself. Of course, he's going to have to work for it himself. Looking for the boost seal on spawn here. But he's given Khaled quite a lot of time to reposition while going for that. It might not have been a good idea to commit so much to that boost seal. He already had the advantage without it. This game really is becoming a quiet one. Battle of the mines. Battle in the midfield. The ball rarely getting into any position for it to be shot on target because Flakes and Khaled are so good at denying their opponents the time to set up shots and the angles to make them happen. Oh wow, what a save by Khaled. He's recovered well. Flakes is trying to muscle him out of the way of the near post, but Khaled did recover and keep the ball out of the net. 1-0 lead stands over a minute and 30 seconds into the game. This is exactly what Flakes was doing to Khaled in game one. Just keeping him scoreless for as long as possible. Now Khaled doing it to Flakes. And, you know, although it might have some impact on Flakes' confidence, he's probably the best player for this kind of thing. Such a patient man, even when he's down and being denied goals. Nice little dunk there by Flakes. Khaled was saving that one with the double save. But Flakes was there to squash it in. And a couple of 50-50 wins in a row there for Flakes. As he sneaks into the corner to take away Khaled's boost. Khaled was hoping for a 100 boost to zero play there. But he's going to get a goal out of it either way. Flakes on the wrong side of the ball. And Khaled, as always, doesn't take long. To snap a shot on target that's too fast for you to catch up with. 2-1 in game four. It would be an incredibly difficult series for Flakes to come back from if he does end up losing this game. Khaled's just so solid. You feel like his mechanics alone will win him a game if we go into games five, six, and seven. Him being 3-1 ahead. The only question mark that we have yet to see answered. In terms of O'Khaled's mentality is, can he handle the pressure of a game seven, a game five, if he's up 3-1? Just any game where he's on match point, suddenly everything changes. And it has changed for many inexperienced players in the past. They've looked great right up until the very last game, the very last goal, the very last shot of a match. And that's when we're going to see just how incredible this guy's focus is. Flakes has tied us up here. Two minutes remaining. Just look at the two players jostling for position. Neither one of them willing to commit into the ball with a dodge because they know as soon as they do that, they're just showing their opponent exactly where they plan to be for the next few seconds. Flakes comes away from this with a boost advantage. Sneaky demo attempt at the near post, but Khaled's avoided it, and he's nipped into his own corner for the 100 boost. Fakes a challenge. Flake shoots to counter. Khaled is right there to defend against the shot. Notice that every single one of these challenges from Khaled just drives right up to the ball, then turns around and just lets Flakes hit it into him. He's trying to disguise himself behind the ball, always parking his car and moving around on the opposite side of the ball from Flakes, if Flakes is close to it. And now a misplay comes in for O'Khaled. He's just flipped the wrong way. And Flakes walks one in uncontested. You know, I thought the play, the misplays, if there were going to be any, would come later on in the game when the pressure is really on. But suddenly, out of nowhere, Khaled has a complete fumble. He meant to dodge to the right. He backflips and misses the ball completely. And Flakes is able to keep him out on the follow-up attack. Still Khaled with a great position here. 
He's got the top corner staring at him, but flakes his spider as well. And he gets in the way of it. Inside the final minute now. Still Ocalid coming forward. Flakes is blocking everything here though. Two 50-50s in a row. Gets sent wide by the Dutchman. And now he's starting to progress out of his goal. And even out this battle in the midfield. He was really under a lot of pressure there, Flakes. But he's held on. And he's starting to fashion an advantage for himself. If he can get a two-goal lead, suddenly we're looking at a very different game. Khaled senses the desperation of the position that he's in. Flakes with a delayed flick will send the ball over him. Khaled still able to take control, or is he? Not able to finish that turn, and Flakes just gets in the way of it. Inside the final few seconds of the match now, Khaled going to try and bump Flakes into the goal, but Flakes sneaks under him and gets away with the ball. Khaled would hate to lose a game because of an accidental flip in the wrong direction, but that is exactly what's happened. Flakes levels us up. It's 2-all in the grand final. Well, here we are, level again. And one misplay gave Flakes the goal he needed to win game four. It's down to a best of three now, and far from the foregone conclusion many predicted matchups like this to be. We are close to crowning the champion. In a year full of montage plays and pop-offs, we're seeing one of the most composed and one of the most restrained 1v1 series in a long time. Neither player wants to take the unnecessary risks. They're trying to play as safe as possible. And that's resulting in some very interesting games. Very few misplays happening. But in that kind of matchup, one misplay so one mistake is all it takes to swing it in the favor of the other player. And that's what happened last game. Flakes with the steal. It's Khaled. He's kind of gave it away there. He panicked in the midfield. Flipped the wrong way. Now Flakes is right back in the match. That's some great recoveries by Flakes. But Khaled likewise tracking this play all the way back into defense. Flakes bumps him away from it though. And puts in the equalizer. And it looks like Khaled just tunneled a bit too much on the ball here. He saw exactly where it was headed and he's figuring out, well, what do I want to do here? Do I want to pinch it off my own post? Do I want to catch it? Do I want to aerial it into the crossbar and catch it? Before he could make up his mind, Flakes scored him into the goal and put the ball in after it. He's just winning these little mental battles here, it would seem. Flakes always one step ahead and he's trying to style on Khaled in this dribbling play. Khaled panicking again and he's got bumped again for Flakes to take a 2-1 lead. And like I said before, that was the one question about Khaled is could he play with this level of consistency? Could he play this style right until the end of the match? Or would there be a time, would there be a moment where his inexperience starts to show this could be it because Flakes has just scored three goals about as fast as anyone's ever scored three goals against Khaled. And there was just nothing happening there for Khaled. He's hesitated while driving underneath the ball. Flakes ahead by two goals. Just over a minute played, it could be three. Flick has gone a bit too high though, not fast enough. And a really smart save by Khaled. To put that one off the inside of his own post has kept the ball in his control here. And Flakes is all over him still. Khaled needs to be so much more careful when he's dribbling the ball out of defense. He's taking his eye off Flakes in this fifth game. That's the second goal where Flakes has punished him. While Khaled is not looking to see what Flakes is doing. He's not taking his eyes off the ball and keeping them on his opponent. Flakes might be the best player in the world at that, constantly surveying and constantly watching what his opponent is doing. Big comeback needed now for Khaled, not just in this game, but potentially in the series. This could be one of the games that defines the series, one of the games where Flakes can show off exactly why he's in this final. Everybody knows why Khaled's here. He's been so consistent. He's been so brilliant mechanically. Flakes is showing up when it matters most. And it looks like his style might be better suited to this kind of high pressure situation. We're not seeing the same sort of plays in Khaled's offense as we usually do. We've seen a couple. There's been a ceiling shot here and an air dribble bump there and some impressive flicks elsewhere. But there haven't been too many ridiculous plays uh, those that we've been so accustomed to seeing from him you wonder does he have the confidence to execute 
at the highest level. Flakes with a hard read on when Caleb is planning to jump here. He's not going to get a fifth goal for himself, but he'll still take it. This was a brilliant win for him overall, forcing Caleb to go all the way back into defense and briefly taking the ball off him. We're already inside the second half of the game. Again, Khaled is afraid to really make anything happen. He's afraid to take any risks, but that's a risk. Flakes drives right in front of him. Now he's spot near post. He does get the clear, so a bit fortune there for Flakes. I wonder what would have happened if he spawned far side. I'm sure Khaled does as well. That is the reality of demos in Rocket League. If you don't play the ball away from where somebody could be spawning, he might just spawn and take it off you. Khaled is being denied goals for an awful long time here like he was in game one. He's already scored one this game, but that's all he's got. Flakes with 100 boost to zero. How often do you see this position in Flakes 1v1 games? Taking even the small pads away from Khaled, who would love to use some of them for any kind of acceleration. Flakes fakes a jump up at the near post rebound. He's just flown right back down to catch the counter attack before it happens. Not getting surprised by anything at the moment, Flakes. Counter to O'Khaled, who keeps getting caught out of position by Flakes' moves. This delayed dodge also taking him out of position, catching him off guard. Flakes making it look like he was going to try and go down to the ground with that one and catch it on the deck, but that's not what he had in mind. He still had the dodge available in his back pocket, and after waiting to see if Khaled would turn, he made the play happen. Final minute approaching. Flakes in his most dominant game yet. After stealing game four, he's absolutely earned game five. Khaled, bounce dribbling, looking dangerous. And not done with this game just yet. Still has time to make something happen, especially with his shooting abilities. And that's much better placement. Khaled to the top corner. Flakes with the praise. But can he do anything more? Is there going to be more drama at the end of game five? Is there going to be more scripted matches in this series? Khaled's got a long way to go if he's going to make it happen. But Flakes did just miss the mid-boost. Khaled flips under the ball, though. If he had clipped that with the side flip, it would have been a fast shot. But the boost was just too low for him. He didn't make contact. Now you can bet that Khaled is going to just go for the fastest way possible every single time. But Flakes is blocking him every single time. It doesn't matter whether Khaled shoots or flicks or goes for the mind game. It just seems like Flakes always has him figured out. Again, that's two times in a row that Khaled has tried to push the ball underneath Flakes, and two times in a row, Flakes has stayed low and saved it. That's going to be game number five in Flakes' back pocket. Khaled has one second left, and thus the comeback is impossible from two goals down. And now he needs two wins in a row, or he'll lose for the first time in a 1v1 series Flakes from fourth place in EU will win the Salt Mine World Finals. This is it. One more game coming up, maybe two, but Flakes has the lead. Flakes earns his third game win and has match point, and O'Khaled needs two games in a row with no room for error. But he came back from a big deficit in the EU Finals, so we know he is capable. But will he be able to take another tournament victory? No easy games for Khaled today. He only lost one game out of four when he played Flakes and League plays. Already lost three out of five in their rematch. But if this series is going to be anything like what we've seen from Khaled in the past, you can bet that he is not done. That he is 100% in this mentally and going to fight until the very last second of every single match that remains. 1-0 lead. From a strong kickoff early on. Khaled wave dashes to accelerate. And he's got a demo on the second one. Flakes spawning near post. Just staying out of danger barely as Khaled drove by. It's a really impressive wave dash to catch the ball and get it up to speed to threaten Flakes who is backing off. Khaled trying to go low again. But none of these low 50-50s seem to be working at the moment. Flakes has made a minor adjustment. He's not letting Khaled get underneath him as often as Khaled would want. And just like that, Flakes sees an opening and puts the ball into the orange goal. Overextension there by Khaled. He's trying to get the boost in the back corner. It looks like Flakes already got it. 
And just like that, the lead is gone. And it's because Flakes was one step ahead off the ball. He knew exactly what was going on. Khaled again, slow with his dribbles. He's not looking anywhere near as confident as he usually does. And if he doesn't up the pace, I think he's going to be in trouble today. Already is in a bit of trouble. He'll be in some real trouble if he doesn't start hitting the ball faster, if he doesn't start getting cleaner setups and certainly more confident setups. He's very often waiting to see what Flakes will do before making his move, and that's not something that we've seen from Khaled offensively all tournament long. Often he'll just make his best play possible and see how his opponent will react to it, but not today. Flakes has definitely got inside his head. He's saved enough of Khaled's booming shots to top corners. He's got Khaled doubting that that is even possible to score. But we'll see what he does here. He is getting the ball up to speed and like a big run up. Guide his path, but look at Flakes just straight away getting in the way of him. It's very unfortunate for Flakes, in fact, that he's tripped over in that exchange because he had the boost advantage there. Khaled was out of position. But just the way that Flakes is preventing Khaled from spacing him off the ball is so impressive to watch. Usually Khaled's bounce dribbles don't give anybody a chance to get near him. Today Flakes has been better than anybody else in the world at defending against him. And Khaled's demos are doing work. Another wave dash setting one up. And unlike the one earlier in the game, he does put the follow-up shot on target for the 2-1 lead. And Khaled, hold on here. Can he stay consistent right up until the end? Fake challenge by Flakes as he seals the boost in the far corner of the field. He wants to turn around as early as possible here to keep the pressure on before Khaled can grab all the small pads in the vicinity. That's exactly what Flakes has been able to do. He's really slowing Khaled down here. Not allowing the mechanics to become much of a part of this series. And he's just too quick again. Flakes beats him to the ball twice in a row. Saying to Khaled, well, you might have mechanics, but if, I, if you don't have any boost, you're going to need some incredible wave dashes and dodges to keep up with me. This time, Khaled can't. It's a whole pile of twos in the scoreboard. Flakes just looking for that one more win to take the entire tournament. And of course, the $1,000 prize that is riding on this match alone. Both players here have already locked in 1K. But the winner of the tournament here takes two. Flakes is trying to finish his year on a good note after getting relegated from RLCS very recently. Khaled still has more to come later in the year. But with not as much going on in the region, this would be huge for him. And he's one goal down against a player who is playing some of the best Rocket League we've ever seen him play, who's peaking at the ideal time, who saved the best for last, and he saved the Octane for last as well. That's a scary thing to think that this is Flake's main car. He's made it into the final by hardly even playing it. Nobody gets there. He whips it out, and he looks like he's the favorite to win the whole thing. 90 seconds left, Khaled. Only two goals to show for himself. Into the air he goes. Flakes is fighting to take off, but can he keep it out? Yes, he can. Unbelievable defense by Flakes. And even though Khaled's found some success with the air dribble bumps, he's denied in the final game. Another one gets set up, but Khaled is afraid to follow up on it. He waits for Flakes to jump, and then Snipes him out the goal. Has the open net. Will he, will he have the confidence to shoot it? No, he doesn't. And Flakes saves yet another shot. Final minute now. Khaled is peppering Flakes' net with shots. And eventually, one of them goes in. And not even Flakes could keep Khaled back forever. It looks like he's just double jumped. He flew off in the complete wrong direction here. Flakes wanted to challenge early. He saved up enough boost to close the distance to the ball, but at the worst possible time, Khaled started his offensive play, and that's kept Flakes out of it. Now, Khaled with a huge positional advantage. Flakes needs to get rid of this ball to give himself time to grab boost. He's going to try and get it into Khaled's end, and all of a sudden, he's demoed Khaled out of the goal. Shots on target. Flakes ahead by one again. And this demo cannot have been in the back of Khaled's mind. He wasn't thinking that Flakes was going to try and kill him in this play. Because he was just coming forward so slowly. Flakes accelerated up to Supersonic at the last second. It caught Khaled off guard. Khaled trails by one again. Just 30 seconds remaining. He's on target, though, from the near post flick position. And this is clutch. 
We wondered what kind of Khaled was going to show up when he's under huge pressure in the last games of the series, in the last series of the tournament. But that is the stuff for champions right there. To hit a perfect flick with only 30 seconds left. That really could have been his last chance of the game. And he must have known that as well. Against a player like Flakes, you don't get many opportunities. Five minutes, you might get five chances. But he's taking that one and he's setting up another one. Just 10 seconds left and Khaled is making progress. He's got Flakes out of the goal. He's got him out of boost. And he's trying to go under him again. But he's failed once again. Flakes still defending every single 0 50 50 but the ball stays up we might not be done just yet and here comes Khaled onto the line and saved once more by Flakes who is putting up a great case for being the best goalkeeper in the world here for all overtime game six can Khaled get the W to send us to game seven Flakes has just been hanging on for dear life here waiting for his one opportunity and he decided that that was it. But it may not have been, because Khaled absorbs the challenge and puts in the winning goal. And we are going to game seven. Flakes, after being patient for the entire game, threw himself in for the challenge and does not come away with the ball. Khaled wins the game, and we go to the ace match. My praise goes out to the script writers, who definitely are not me. We are going to game 7 in an already insane series. All the titles, pride, and a good chunk of prize money are on the line, with just one game to decide it all. If this last game will be anything like game 6, Flakes better have brought his goalie gloves because Khaled had 18 shots in the last game, and eventually, he got the winning goal out of all that. He's already ahead by one in game seven. Two wins in a row behind Khaled as he starts to put together a mini reverse sweep of sorts. Flakes needs to try and play aggressive in this last game. He looked impressive in goal in game six, but you can't give Khaled that many chances and expect to win a game. He just had so many opportunities. And he's got such great offense that if you give him these chances, enough of them are bound to go in as another one finds the back of the net. Khaled from behind is starting to dominate in the final few matches against a player who is far more experienced than he is. And this is just unbelievable to watch. There's been so many players in the history of ones who have fallen over at the first hurdle as soon as everything starts going against them, they have no way to come back. Well, Khaled was down 3-1. His offense wasn't working. His defense was getting shut down as well. Flakes seemed to be a step ahead in every aspect of the game. But he has come back time and time again. And now in game seven, he's showing up. He's already got a two-goal lead for himself. A minute gone. Flakes, scoreless. On the ball, trying to find a way through. Not going to get any goals from that position though. Khaled's taking his boost in the far corner. At what point does this start to become real for Khaled? Is it just a dream right now? As he realized that he's currently leading in the final game of the Salt Mine World Finals. If he hasn't realized already then surely he will any minute now. It's a uh, when the announcer says things like one minute remaining, 30 seconds remaining, that's when it gets real. But at the moment, Khaled is real. He's showing up huge. And he's smashed Flakes across the line to let the ball follow him in. So many of these have been saved by Flakes today. So many of them have been saved by Flakes at the closing moments of game six as well. But Khaled still has faith in his ability to execute. And he made that minor adjustment. Just flew in a bit lower to deny Flakes the save down low after avoiding the bump. Now, this is so smart by Khaled, he's wasting a lot of time here. He's gonna get Flakes out of his comfort zone if he can keep this up because at some point, Flakes can't rely on counterattacks to get the win. Khaled is just too far ahead here and he's on too much of a hot streak. That's 4-0. And after talking about Khaled comebacks all day, now Flakes has gotta make one of his own. This is gonna be ridiculously difficult to come back from. Khaled has done so much in the last few games here. 
to elevate his gameplay. He looked nervous earlier on. But that's a ridiculous save by Flakes. You know, I said he can't rely on counterattacks to get the win from here, but his goalkeeping is still so impressive to watch. I don't even know how he kept that previous shot out, but he won't keep this one out. Khaled, 5-0. And it is just like the last game. You know, he, I said he got 18 shots in the last game. He's on track for 20 in game seven here. 10 already. And we're just past halftime now. Just a ridiculous offensive onslaught by O'Khaled. He refuses to give Flakes anything in the game. Well, just I say that, he does give him one possession. I wonder why Khaled didn't decide to shoot that ball. He decided that this is a big enough lead and he's just going to try and hold on to it. I don't blame him for thinking that because 5-0 in a series that's been as close as this one is huge. When you're as good at time wasting, when you're as good at possession play and knocking time off the clock, you don't blame Khaled for doing this. This is so smart. He's changing the pace halfway through the game to try and catch Flakes off guard. Now what is Flakes going to do? to try and respond. First order of business, is he badly needs a goal? And he's gonna get one. Khaled overextends in the corner. And it's just what the doctor ordered for Flakes. Right in the nick of time, keeping his hopes alive to get this comeback win. Take the tournament in the process. Four goal lead for Khaled. Minute and 40 remaining. Flakes has a lower boost in him right now. Khaled playing it right over him. Stealing the boost of the far post, but look at that. Khaled just landed completely wrong. And this is reminiscent to game five all of a sudden. Because in that game, Khaled just fell over. Flipped the wrong way and let Flakes come through. And now, Flakes has collected a goal in a very similar position. Kickoff win for Flakes. This series looks to be far from over. He's got Khaled in an awkward position again. He's got him jumping at Flakes' will. Flakes is making minor progress here. Getting closer and closer to Khaled's goal. Khaled's boost is running out while Flakes is doing this. The time is not on Flakes' side though. This is the time where he has to try and make something big happen. He tries to go for the low air dribble into demo. Not really connecting with either of them. He doesn't have Khaled in his sight. Khaled hiding perfectly behind the ball, and that's a great save by Khaled as well. He's keeping Flakes back at the last few minutes here. Flakes now does need to score with pretty much every attack he gets. Comes down the middle. Khaled has given him some space to work with, but he's just so confident in his own goalkeeping ability. It's been a defensive masterclass from both players at times this series. Can Flakes do anything to keep his game alive here 360 spin into a very lackluster shot for flake standards and now in 20 seconds Khaled will win the entire tournament flakes needs to try and do something about this and it's going to be his own tried and tested play that he goes for but it doesn't work out and neither did anything that flakes tried in the closing minute of the game here because Khaled has just been on another level and he continues his win streak. He wins the Salt Mine World Finals 4-3 over Flakes. Oh, Khaled does it. What an achievement. Really, there's nothing I can be snarky about there. I mean, he was never down 3-1, but we can forgive Johnny for thinking about the EU script again. Flakes did better than many expected him to, but it was not enough. Oh, Khaled reaches insane degrees of achievement and goes undefeated in three increasingly high-level tournaments back to back to back. Maybe ME needs its own salt mine next time, as just one player has surpassed two entire regions. We have our champion of salt, and it is Oh, Khaled. But if he's the champion of salt, does that make Flakes the squire of salt? He comes in second best in the world of 1v1 this year. Thank you again to GIF Your Game for sponsoring the Salt Mine World Finals. Remember you can enter their $25,000 Goal of the Year contest, check their link for more details. I wish you all the merriest of festivities in this time of year. Be good to each other, and share with us all your best self. Come back tomorrow for something. Whatever the video is, know that you are welcome to watch it. Thank you for watching today. Thank you for watching this entire event. EU is a college salt mine, and the world is a used salt mine, bunch of imperialists. 
That's it for this year. Thank you from Johnny, the scriptwriters, the graphics guys, RIP. And thank you from me. I am your host, friend, and ghost of Christmas Salt, Brian.